Painting a piece of furniture is like a new relationship. You just never know what you are going to get. My favorite place to be is right here. Most of the time, giving a piece of furniture a makeover is easy. But sometimes, it's not. It's because each piece of furniture is different and comes with its own history. Sometimes you run across something called bleed through. This affects how the paint and the transfer adhere. Especially vintage furniture, each one is different. The odds are with furniture that the relationship is gonna work out. Maybe not so much with an actual relationship. In this particular case, it was not good. It was, it was a bad, bad, bad situation. Bad to the bone. It's a long road to greatness, but I ain't afraid to face it. Cause I know I'm gonna make it. I started off by painting this vintage armoire with little black dress. Just looking at the piece of furniture with the original stain on it, I thought that there might be bleed through, so I chose black because it would cover up the bleed through. I did not realize that it would also affect the transfer. You can see here that DIY paint dries much lighter than when it's wet, but it does go back to its original color with the top coat. I started off with this. It's the new transfer from IOD. I wanted it to look just like the cover. I wanted the black background. I wanted to layer all the transfers. I had this beautiful old vintage armoire and I thought it was just gonna be amazing. I've put several transfers on furniture in the past, all without incident. You use this little plastic stick and you rub it on like a temporary tattoo. You want the paint to sit overnight for 24 hours because if it doesn't, the paint can stick to the back of the transfer and then it doesn't stick at all because the adhesive part is gone and then you have a mess. Let the paint sit at least 24 hours. Then you put on the big top, this is the sealer, and then you let that sit overnight and then you rub on the transfer. You can see the color deepen as I brush on the big top. Big top is a liquid sealer that will protect the finish of the furniture and help the transfer glide on easily, in most cases. Especially in warmer weather, Big Top dries very fast. You will want to apply it in a shady area or indoors to get an even finish. I gave the entire piece one coat of Big Top. It goes on cloudy and dries clear to a semi-gloss finish. You gotta tell her how you've been sitting. I waited, then I coated the whole thing with the big top, and I, I came in, I was all excited, I'm like, we're good to go. I went to rub on the transfers, and they were not sticking. They were pulling up the paint. It was leaving these big holes in the furniture where the, the paint was just coming flaking off. Why is this not working? And so I put on another coat of Big Top, and then I put on a third coat of Big Top, and it was just chipping up. As I attempted to apply the transfers, they were not sticking. They were pulling the paint off the furniture and sticking to the back of the transfer. It was a painstaking, very slow process. At this point, I had already applied three coats of Big Top and it was not working. I did not know what to do, so I just focused on the glass doors where the transfers were gliding on easily and used the bigger transfers, which are easier to adhere. I'll blow back for more hurricanes, then trot down to the blocks. Watch the bridge boys with their go go girls interject my genius thoughts. It took me hours just to apply a few transfers, and I had lots of areas where the paint had peeled up. If I take time to the only thing that I can do to fix it would be to sand the whole thing down and then prime it. Like there's something in that piece of furniture that is just resisting the paint and it needed to be saved. All I could think to do was sand off everything, including the transfers, and then prime it 
and start all over. Oh man, I do not want to do that. I remembered that we have salvation solution. It's called salvation solution because it's supposed to redeem rebel furniture. I thought this would be a good time to tell you about my own personal salvation story. I've never talked about it before. Salvation Solution is our low VOC primer. It comes in clear and white. I was hoping that the clear would work over the top of the transfer. I found Jesus when I was a little girl. One day, I was five and my sister was three. This lady came to our door and she invites me and my sister to something called Backyard Bible School. A clear shellac or a heavy duty primer can be too harsh to go over the top of a transfer. I wasn't sure if ours would work or if it would dry completely clear over the black, but I had nothing to lose at this point. Between the flesh and the bone, that old devil found a way in me. See here that Salvation Solution is beating up over Big Top. I just kept smoothing out the brush strokes and hoping for the best. I painted it on the side and I waited for it to dry and it dried totally clear. Well, this could work. I could paint it right over the transfer and maybe it will help it stick. And I came back the next morning and it worked. Funny the things you remember as a kid because I love crafts even at five and this lady was inviting us to her backyard for a Bible craft session. My mom didn't know what that was, but she was like, yeah, you want to take my kids for a couple hours? You seem like a safe little old lady. And we got to eat cookies and we got to make a craft. There was like this felt board and all these little cutouts of Jesus and Mary and Joseph. The lady started telling us a story with the felt board. She's telling us about how Jesus was our savior and that he was going to come down out of heaven and blow his trumpet. And those who believed in him would get floated up to heaven and those who didn't would get left behind. Oh my gosh, like what? And that night my mom was cooking dinner. Okay, mom, when Jesus comes back and he blows his trumpet, are we gonna go up to heaven or are we staying behind? What are you talking about? Who told you that? I told her that the lady at the Backyard Bible told us the story about it and she immediately got on the phone and called this neighbor of ours. My mom My mom hangs up the phone. She tells my dad that we're invited to go to church on Sunday and she wants to go. Whoa, what, what, we're going to church? We had never gone to church before. And from then on, we were going to church like four times a week. That was the beginning of my whole introduction to Jesus. You just never know the small little thing like inviting a couple of kids to do some crafts in the backyard with Jesus could change a person's entire trajectory. Tra tra trajectory. Their, their whole life could change it all. I'm definitely going up when that trumpet blows. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Wake up and listen to my anthem. Tune out the noises from my past and look up, remember where my help comes from. Yeah. To find DIY paint in your area, to sell it in your store, or to find the products used in this video, Click the link below. Thanks for watching.